Hello, hello. My name's Jenny Luscombe and I'm an advanced EFT practitioner. In this video I'm going to describe what happens in an EFT tapping session. So um, there are many varied pra EFT practitioners and we all bring a lot of different things to the table. So every practitioner is going to do it a different way. So I'm talking about me and how I do it. So you can use EFT tapping on anything. You can use it on emotional issues. You can use it on mental issues. So thoughts, feelings, beliefs, particularly limiting beliefs. Um, you can use it on anything physical because this is based on the theory that um, anything that is physically manifesting in your body like pain or disease, um, any physical symptoms at all, that there's an emotional component to that that is not acknowledged by traditional medicine so perhaps you're getting medica medicated from the doctor um, but it's possible that the doctor has missed out a part of what you're going through so anything emotional anything mental anything physical anything in your reality so um, your circumstances your relationships your work your kids like your family whatever it is that's going on for you you can use EFT because everything is energy and everything is frequency. So sometimes when you have an EFT session, the therapy can actually pull the plug out of many things that you're going through at the same time. Because if you're going through them at the same time, they are of the same frequency. So what we do is we tap on meridian points on the face and the upper body. So we start on the side of the hand. We use the eyebrow point the side of the eye, underneath the eye, under your nose, under your mouth, on your collarbone, just above your collarbone, and then under your arm and on top of your head. Now the tapping itself reduces the cortisol level in the body. The cortisol is responsible for the stress hormone and whenever you think of something difficult or traumatic, the cortisol goes up. So all that stuff that you experienced when you were younger, stuff that's happened which is in the past but st is still affecting you, this is keeping you stuck in survival mode. So you might be having triggers in your life that is signposting you back to somewhere else where there's something unresolved. Now this is easily sorted with EFT. Um, so I mean I've been using these techniques now for about 10 years and it has profoundly changed my life everything has changed. Um, I've managed to self-heal postnatal depression and anxiety disorder, um, chronic back pain that my doctor told me that I would have forever. Um, I've actually reversed my aging process and I've lost weight effortlessly without dieting. Loads of things have happened. I'm no longer in disempowering relationships or careers or marriages that were not serving me. Everything is different. And this is a self-help technique. So you can use it yourself. Um, it's a skill. It's basically a skill that you, you can learn. So EFT, you can use it on anything. Now, every session is a journey. It's a journey into yourself. The key here is to go into the emotion, to allow yourself to be in the experience that you're in. Now, most of us are not doing that. Most of us are denying, disowning, repressing, suppressing, rejecting the whole thing that's happening. Now, if you're doing that, you're putting it somewhere where you can't see it and nothing's happening, no change is occurring. That's why you're stuck, because you've put it over there. Now, with an EFT session, you bring it right in front of you and you put it in a place where you have to deal with it. Now, a lot of people think that if you dwell on your emotions or if you focus on them, that you're going to make the whole situation worse. Absolutely not true. The surprising thing that happens when you go into your emotion is that you receive information about your issue that you didn't know you didn't know. And it's because there's subconscious stuff that you're kind of fighting yourself not to look at. It really isn't as bad as you think it is. And in our subconscious mind, there's actually a lot of positive stuff. So sometimes people unearth positive things during an EFT session. It can be quite magical. 
Um, okay, so the reason why it works is because when you're tapping, you come out of survival mode into a healing state. So it's impossible to be in a healing state and in survival mode at the same time. So when you're tapping, your body's in a healing state, you're relaxed, and then you're focusing on your trauma or your difficulty, whatever that is. Now, those two things can't coexist. So you have to force your body to repattern. Basically, what will happen when you're first sitting in front of me is that you will be expressing your issue and then I make notes on how you express that because during the session we're going to be speaking out loud about what you're going through. That's another thing that a lot of us don't do and just in that there's a lot of power. So we're going to be tapping on the points, you're going to be copying me, I'll be guiding you through that process and then I'll be saying some of the stuff you've told me about your issue back to you. Now, the tapping, it connects you to your truth. And the reason, another reason why it works is because all we have to do is acknowledge what we're going through, recognise what we're going through, allow it to be there without trying to control it, without trying to change anything, without trying to deny, just expressing it and acknowledging it and allowing it to be there is perfect and profoundly healing. So we'll be doing that for the first part of the session. And then it's kind of like a funnel because EFT connects you to your truth. Like when you're tapping, some things that you say might feel uncomfortable and it feels like you want to resist them. Some things that you say will feel really validating and like really true. And then you'll want to kind of bring those things towards you. So this gives me a clue about what's going on for you. So we kind of get we start broad and then we get down to the kind of core issue or the core emotion and then we're able to switch to different techniques and I'm able to help you connect in to your body and then there are certain ways that you can look at the emotion and feel the emotion of your issue in your body and then we can connect you directly to the core memory that is connected to that so some people call this the emotional root so once we find the emotional root, we can then work with that version of you. So that version of you might be five years old. That version of you might be an inner child. It might be an inner adult. So then we can do either, whichever is appropriate for the um, issue, inner child work where we are tapping and acknowledging what happened in this experience, in this core memory. So we acknowledge what that version of you is going through because no one else did and then we are able to bring resolution for that inner child or that inner adult um, if we don't use inner child work in certain circumstances we'll use parts work now this is where there are two parts of you that are opposing so one part of you wants to go that way and one part of you wants to go that way so this is kind of like times where you're procrastinating or self-sabotaging or finding it hard to choose, make a decision. Um, so parts work is perfect for that. Inner child's work is perfect for other types of circumstances. So I can, I can help you know kind of which direction to go. Um, and then once you validate the parts of you that need realignment or um, the inner child or the inner adult that needs realignment and resolution, it pulls the plug out of your issue and it is miraculous. Come and have a go. Now, there's also um, an opportunity to have a training session with me so that you can learn how to use these techniques yourself. So you can basically do the techniques yourself, tapping just in your house, visualising, going through a certain process. You can heal yourself. And I'm starting to train people to do this um, yourself. So if you're interested in uh, EFT tapping therapy session with me or an inner work training session where I can teach you parts work or inner child work, then um, my links are all in the description box below. I'm also doing sessions in the emotion code and I'm also training people how to muscle test, which is another way of accessing the natural intelligence of your body for profound change. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, my links are below, 
I also have a newsletter now if you want to keep up to date with videos and offers. Um, and I ha have an online course called Free Therapy Forever, a crash course in sovereignty, self-healing and self-mastery. And it's all down there if you're interested. Thank you for listening.